Frank James, a welder by profession, is the first on Ireland to create a hand sanitizing dispenser. James says after hearing of the coronavirus in international countries, he thought prevention is better than cure, and so started building these machines long before COVID-19 was confirmed in Grenada. He thanks God for his inspiration and hopes this will help people to remain safe. The machine, he says, is simple and easy to operate. They are very um, durable, any condition. You can work out in the, you can put it in a jetty if you want to put it in a jetty. You can put it in an office. You can work absolutely any way. And it's fully mechanical. It does not take up much space. No. And it's very effective. You can try it. You can go and try one if you like to. This hand sanitizing dispenser has already made its way to some offices and has attracted the interest of a few schools. Well, I already donated one to my school. Okay, I would like to see this thing throughout the schools. The principal of some of the schools in St. Andrews in particular are very much interested. So what they are doing is trying to get some of the schools together so they can purchase in a bulk so they can get a nice uh, discount off. James hopes that by September, when school reopens, principals would see its relevance in protecting young children. James demonstrates how the machine is operated. So we have the, we have the units in left turn and right turn. So a person doesn't have to stand directly in front of it to spray themselves. So if you're based on your location in a building, if you require a left turn, we then we install a left turn for you. So when a person comes, it's very easy to access. So you press it. Or when it's a right, same principle. You use the right side of it and you spray your hands. Um, it has four holes in the base of it. So what we do, we drill holes in the, in the concrete and we try to use a, a nail plug. So it's not that easy for someone to just remove it. Once it's nailed, it's very difficult to remove it. Christina John, GBN News.